Well, they didn't sell to me because I'm not 21. So how are the vapes getting into the hands of high schoolers and students all over New Jersey? Let's find out. I'm Brandon Kuhn reporting for Tiger TV. The epidemic of vaping has become increasingly more and more popular over this past year. The vape devices, made as a safer alternative to adult smokers, has introduced a new generation of teenagers to nicotine addiction. The long-term effects of vaping e-liquids are still not known. The most worrying aspect is nicotine, which can be damaging to brain development. One of the more popular vape devices amongst teenagers is a Juul. This product contains the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. Although most are unaware of the harmful warnings on these boxes, Juul clearly states not for sale to minors. In New Jersey, the legal age to buy nicotine products is 21, but in Pennsylvania, you must be 18 or older. We headed over to Mount Bethel, Pennsylvania to check out some vape shops just across the border of New Jersey. It took about 20 minutes, so it's not a short drive for anyone in Hackensack, New Jersey. We tried to interview three different shops and all declined, other than one who did have an interview over the phone. What she said was that there's people from New Jersey coming in almost daily. Vaping in school has become a problem at Hackensack High School. We talked to Steve Spears, head of Hackensack Security, about this issue. We've seen an increase here at the school with vaping. Um, in some cases, we've had weeks where we've discovered two people a day um, in the bathrooms or somewhere on school property. Uh, and that's concerning to us. Sometimes there's bold to do it in the classrooms, and there's been an increase in it recently. There are consequences for our students if they are found in possession of a vaping device. If they're caught with a vaping device or they're caught using it, we send them out for being under the suspicion, meaning they go out for a drug test, and that's standard procedure. At minimum, being in possession of and using, even if you come back negative on your urine test, which you will always be sent out for, um, there is a uh, Saturday detention, minimum of a Saturday detention for using or possessing these types of devices. So these were the final words and advice from the experts on underage vaping. This was Brandon Kuhn reporting for Tiger TV.